experience a 9-11 moment and this will result more or likely from Iran or some Middle Eastern nation. We saw the same thing take place during the World War in America where concentration camps were built for the Japanese and Germans during wartime to prevent those countries using proxies within the borders of America. Now we see due to human rights laws they cannot simply go about doing this again without sparking some outcry of human rights, so they had to orchestrate events in order to bring about this. This entire thing is to flush out the proxy forces in Europe through the forced documentation of who is in Europe and the fastest way to do this is to engineer a crisis. To engineer a crisis, you have to strip natural law. You have to remove the laws of the land. So the apartheid comes to Europe dream and the laws being removed in the UK are the same dream shown from different angles, different point of views. The only problem is. The laws being removed in the UK will result not only in him removing the laws but Christianity will come under attack and the result will be the police will break the peace. If you have seen that video of following the channel, you will know that in the dream I asked the policeman why did he shoot the doves, why did he break the peace. Now we can see where all this is going. At the end of the dream, after I asked the policeman why did they break the peace, I saw an attack on the UK and a scroll opened up. Written on the scroll was the words and vision of Sina van Rensburg. This is the first dream vision on the channel and I did not ask to be shown the contents of the dream. I simply prayed for an answer as to the visions about South Africa and the world I saw in the 2015 and 2016 years. So we know now, the scrapping of the laws in the UK and apartheid comes to Europe revolve around this virus and the present day lockdowns. Did you get that? The dream was telling you that the virus is being used as a way to remove the laws and implement new laws. I also said in one of the dreams that something happens in South Africa that will be spoken about the world, in every country for the next five years. The only thing that happened in South Africa just so happened to take place in every country around the world, the virus outbreak. This is what I must have seen those Asians, the Japanese reading on the train. The ducks flying out of the tree, South Africa was something to do with South Africa breaking rank. I said that in March 2020 something was going to happen in South Africa, that will break the century of bondage of the whites. We know all this revolves around this virus. The event that took place in March 2020 just as the angel of the almighty God showed me happened in March due to the virus outbreak. It was the angel that appeared to me in the dream to reveal that the century of bondage will end in March 2020. It will cause the nation to awaken, in time you will have your freedom. It is declared from the Almighty and in March man locked you down while the Almighty God of Israel unlocked your chains and it is at this time that the lockdowns in the UK and Europe happened and it is from March 2020 that the laws the two doves, the Magna Carta and common law were scrapped in the UK when the shots were fired that killed the peace. The police are going to have a major role in the future in the events in the UK when the grass catches alight when civil war and famine break out as Sina van Rensburg saw. So there is a lot to digest with these dreams. The laws being scrapped, the chains coming undone for the nation and apartheid coming to Europe all began in March 2020. This is the start of all these things, it's now being rolled out now, a year later. All this is happening in preparation for some attack in Europe and the build-up to world war. We see Russia being further isolated and Russia kicking out diplomats from Russia. Sometimes I have to slap myself because I think I have gone insane but the news reports simply keep coming out confirming it. Nigel Farage of the UK asked how they can reverse these laws and Mr. Farage, I sent your nation the message. I warned your people, I sent the word of the Almighty God of Israel and I told you in the dream, do not remove those laws, I specifically mentioned if you remove those laws. You will destroy yourself. So you ask Mr. Farage what can you do to change all of this and I will tell you, your nation's judgment is about to come to pass. If those laws have been totally scrapped, then those who hear this message must flee from your country. 
I was told that when the laws are changed, you must flee from the UK fast, if not you will be destroyed with the strike which will hit the country. I am not telling you this after the event, I warned your nation before a single law was scrapped, you had ample time to speak out and prevent this from happening. Now it is too late. Pray for that nation, this is a test O oh nation. This is a test from the Almighty, if you cannot pray for those people and that nation, then do not expect your prayers to be answered. Children must not be held responsible for the sins of their fathers, do not hold back your prayers for that nation due to past grievances. I say pray with all your heart and soul for Britain, the Almighty will test you. Will your own pride and arrogance blind you, you want your chains to come undone, you want to be a free nation, then do not let others stumble to the death, pray and warn them. Warn the Christians in the UK that the day of destruction is upon them, send them prayers, awaken them. That way the Almighty will see you have prayed for your enemy and look favorably on our nation. The Almighty tests the heart, where is your heart? Is your heart bitter and twisted? Apartheid has come to Europe, but they will not call it apartheid, Britain, England removed her laws and I told her what would happen should she do that. The scrapping of the laws will result in the grass catching a light in England and the final act will happen as shown to me on the scroll prior to her destruction. Do not gloat over destruction my people, do not gloat over her destruction, if you gloat the Almighty will turn on you. Pray for her, awaken her people, do not let her stumble to her death. She was warned, you were warned, apartheid will come to Europe and your chains will come undone. Your chains have come undone decreed the Almighty in March 2020, you will still be tested and go through the furnace prior to being totally free but praise the Almighty, turn now in these dark times. During the cover of darkness to the Almighty, let the nation's light shine bright during these dark times. May our nation be a beacon of hope and light for the world during these dark times and as their world gets darker. May our light shine bright to bring many nations safely to our shores and may they be as one nation here in South Africa in the future. The Boer nation will possess many nations. Apartheid has come to Europe, England has scrapped her laws make sure you awaken those people. They must know about the prophecy and that South Africa is will be a safe harbor for Christian Europeans as was in the dark days of the Huguenots. All these dreams of the chains coming undone for the nation in March 2020, problems coming to England in 2020. Apartheid comes to Europe are all part of the same dream given at different times all about the same event, seen from different angles. How can I say that? Simply go watch the videos, they tell you what was about to happen months, a year before any of them came to pass. In some of the videos I put online, I said something bit will happen next month in February 2020, the dream when the angel told me, tell the nation their chains come undone in March. Their century of bondage ends, problems in England begin in the same month, since both were shown in the same dream. Their problems began when they removed their laws starting in March 2020 and the dream from 2019 said to me. Their problems will begin when they remove their laws which they did remove in 2019 and are now confirmed. Apartheid comes to Europe is due to the virus. The virus is the thing which caused the laws to be scrapped in the UK and forced to the whites in South Africa to wake up in South Africa. We also know the Italian parliament collapsed due to a combination of the pressure caused due to the virus, so other one which I connected the dots with all of this while writing this. As I mentioned before, I never script or edit anything once it is written. I write as it comes to me. The only thing I change is a spelling mistake or two. So I do not know what I will write until it I sit down to write either about a dream being fulfilled or a dream I have just had. The Almighty is with this nation, we shall rise again. May God protect you, protect this nation and may we bend our knee once more for the Almighty. Make South Africa great again, awaken the nation, undo the chains mighty God of Israel. May the Almighty be with our leaders and future leaders.